Hola everyone, Vince here, and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to partition and unpartition your hard drive on your Windows 7 or Windows Vista machine. If you're stuck with Windows XP or below, I'm sorry, but Microsoft does not include a built-in partitioning program in their operating system if you're using Windows XP or below, so you're going to have to use a third-party partitioning software if you want to partition your hard drive if you're stuck with Windows XP or below. But if you're on Windows 7 or Windows Vista, you're in luck. There's a built-in partitioning program and the process is the same for both operating systems. So I'm running on a Windows 7 machine, so if you're running on Windows Vista, that's fine. You can follow along because the directions are 100% the same. So I'm not gonna even be explaining what partitions are. I'm not gonna be explaining what to do with partitions because if you reach this video, then you already know what partitions are. You already know what you wanna do with them. So let's just get straight to partitioning. It's fairly simple. Just go to Start. Go to computer, right click it, click on manage. Click on disk management. And take your C drive, right click your C drive, and click on shrink volume. This window will pop up, and this is where you enter how many megabytes you want your partition to be. This is where we get into conversions. One gigabyte equals 1,024 megabytes. And so if you want a 10 gigabyte partition, we have to use the Windows calculator. So let's do 10 times 1,024. That's pretty simple. It's a 10,240. But use the calculator if you're going to do something wacky like 17 gigabytes. So 17 times 1,024. So we're going to partition this into a 10 gigabyte partition. And that's 10,240 megabytes. So let's add that. 10,240 megabytes. So that's a 10 gigabyte hard drive we click on shrink windows will shrink your hard drive into a second partition a 10 gigabyte partition in this case okay so it shrunk 10 gigabytes out of my c drive and here i have a 10 gigabyte unallocated partition so what we need to do is allocate it as i like to say right click it and click on new simple volume click on next next assign a letter to the partition, next, and make a volume label. So I'm gonna put Ubuntu. I'm gonna click on perform a quick format if you want it to be formatting quick. Click on next, finish. It will format the drive. And there we go. So if I go to start and computer, I can see that I have an Ubuntu D drive. I just partitioned my hard drive for Ubuntu in this case. But let's just say Ubuntu and I weren't working out and I want to delete this partition. Fine, it's easy. So just right click your Ubuntu drive, click on delete volume. And now it's unallocated again. Now what we need to do is gain the space back back into our C drive because we don't just want to, we don't just want 10 gigabytes lost in space. We want it back to our C drive. So what we need to do is unpartition it. Right click, click on extend volume, click on next. There's 10,239 megabytes available to extend. So we're gonna use that, click on finish. And as you know, this went back to 430 gigabytes instead of 420 since it extended the 10 gigabyte unallocated volume. And that's how to partition and unpartition your hard drive. If you have any questions, email me at Vince at VinceBognot.com. Send me tweets at Twitter.com slash VinceBognot. Save 25% off your next hover domain by using coupon code Vince or typing in the words V-I-N-C-E at checkout or go to Hover.com slash Vince. And that's about it. Thank you very much. Leave a comment. Leave a rating. Have a nice day.